Earlier this year, President Trump established the Presidential Commission on Election Integrity. It's tasked with finding whether any illegal voting occurred during last fall's election. But the commission's work is being impeded by state officials who are refusing to cooperate with it. Officials in New York, California, Virginia, even Mississippi have all announced their intent to hinder the commission by refusing to supply voter rolls and other information. So what is next for this investigation? Chris Kobach is the Secretary of State of Kansas and he vice chairs the commission. He joins us tonight. So I'm... Um, there are two different criticisms of your effort to gather this data. One comes from civil libertarians, uh, some on the right, and the other comes from the Democratic Party. Let's address the first one first. So even the Secretary of State of Mississippi, who's a Republican, issued the statement today, uh, aimed at you, I think, and said, they can go jump in the Gulf of Mexico, and Mississippi is a great state to launch from. He said, we said we're not giving you the data. <laughs> What's his complaint, and is it valid? And if not, why not? Uh, I don't think so. He's he's a friend of mine, uh, Secretary Hoseman from Mississippi, and yeah. you know he's just worried that uh, you want to make sure that we don't have any sensitive information in the hands of the federal government, and I don't either. So the, the information that we asked for today for the commission uh, is just the basic identifying information that's already publicly available. Anybody on the street can go into a county election office and get the voter rolls. They can't get the last four of the social security number, but they can get name, address, and things like that. Did the person vote in 2016? And so that's all that we're asking for, and uh, it, there's no security risk. And I, so I think uh, you know the concerns of, uh, for example, uh, Secretary Hoseman can probably be assuaged. Uh, but the more interesting objection comes from you know the folks on the left who are right. saying we don't care if it's publicly available information. We don't want the commission to see our voter rolls. Uh, and why is that? W what's the concern? Well, yeah, my my first question back to them is, okay, what are you trying to hide? For example, if we can, in order to do this kind of investigative work, you have to have the voter rolls, which again, in any given state, you have hundreds of candidates who, who buy the voter rolls every election cycle, lots of organizations buy them. What we're gonna do is do something that's never been done before, try to compare these voter rolls to federal databases. So for example, uh, one thing that's never been done that's very important is the federal government knows the names of more than 15 million aliens who are living in the United States. In fact, it's closer to more than 20 million. Uh, the individuals are here on green cards or on temporary visas, but the states have never been permitted to see, hey, how many of those aliens have registered to vote in my state? Right. The number is likely to be very high, but let's find out what the number is. And that's one of the reasons I think California is afraid of what they might find out. You know, they don't have any sort of precautions that effectively ensure that non-citizens aren't voting. I mean, I, I'm against federal databases as a general matter, but a federal election seems like a federal concern. I mean, it doesn't seem like a crazy ask. So here's the other criticism that this whole enterprise has been taking, and you specifically have been. This was a guest earlier on this channel, on Fox Today, impugning the motives, basically, of your investigation. I want you to respond to this. Watch. This is Chris Kobach, the former Secretary of State, or potential, excuse me, maybe existing Secretary of State of Kansas, who has dedicated his life to voter suppression, who has dedicated his life to being funded by white supremacists, you can, everybody here can look it up, coming in and trying to validate Donald Trump's imaginary All right. mantra of the fact that he would have won okay. the popular vote if millions of people hadn't voted All illegally. Right. There's no evidence of I'm that. Sorry. Now, that's such a heavy-duty thing to say about somebody that I wanted to give you a chance to respond. I appreciate it. I mean, what she was saying was downright slanderous. Uh, the, the part about being funded by white supremacists, that's just plain old false. But the other thing that's important is she's saying, oh, that I, I've dedicated my career to fighting voter suppression, uh, to suppressing votes. I've dedicated my career to fighting voter fraud by doing things like having photo ID, which people overwhelmingly uh, support in this country and in my state, and by having proof of citizenship. Kansas is one of four states that has proof of citizenship. Uh, we also uh, do things like secure absentee ballots, because in some photo ID states, uh, the, the voter fraud just goes to absentee ballots, mail-in right. ballots. So the notion that this is suppressing votes is a standard leftist diatribe, that if you do anything to secure the election, you're suppressing votes. But you know, it didn't even make sense. Her argument is, is really, kind of stupid. How in the world does studying data in a federal presidential yep. commission cause somebody not to vote in some state around the country? It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a pretty heavy thing to say about someone. Secretary Kobach, thanks a lot for joining us tonight.